Jake, he's psychotic. Oh, ow! He bit you two minutes yeah. ago. Michael and Lisa didn't really seem to be that concerned. Stop it. We're the Sanders family. I'm Michael. Oh, I almost got bit. My wife, Lisa. You have to do it slowly. My daughter, Jessica. We live in Jericho, New York. We have one dog. His name is Jake. He's a Maltese Chihuahua mix. Jake can sometimes be a good dog, but more often than not, he's psychotic. <laughs> Jess. It's hard to have other people around because you're afraid someone might get bit. <laughs> He's bitten me, he's bitten the kids, he's bitten my brother-in-law. I am kind of worried that Jake's gonna hurt me Sunday. He didn't go to bite you just now. Yes, he did. If he got somebody in a wrong spot, he could really hurt somebody. I really don't want to get bit. I'm sorry, I don't. But if I get bit, it's okay. No one can really come in the house at all. I can't have friends over. He just bites my friends. He's just not a good dog. <laughs> if I step out of line, he's gonna bite me. My daughter steps out of line, he's biting her. If Victoria can't help us, she's taking the dog. Victoria's taking it, just so you know. I can pick him up. Want me to try him? Yeah. Ah! No, 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 stop, stop. He bit me. He bit you. <laughs> no, sit down. How did that happen? She went to pick him up. I feel guilty <laughs> that Jessica got bit, but she didn't get bit every day. I know she shouldn't get bit at all, but I don't. what was I supposed to do? Give him away? You can't give him away. It's going to stink for a second, honey. Oh, stop it. Can you get? I can see coming right through here. Yeah, this dog's got anxiety. Why do you think he's biting? It doesn't bite me, I don't know. It's only in or... certain, like, emotional situations where... No. We all... Who was just no, sitting no. there? No, no, hold on. I was Sit. sitting there. I tried to pick him up, he bit me. He just bit you? Don't yeah, right now. now. He bit you? Two minutes yeah. ago. Like... Let's have a look. Oh. <gasps> it's not one of the real... It's... it's big, no. She's gotten bit a few times. I do not think Victoria liked hearing that I got bit a lot. How many times? Like, four. In what situations? Like, me trying to pick him up. No, the most or... situations are when mom's with you yeah, and pretty... you would try and pick him up. What point? The dog protects I mean. my wife. What is he protecting me from? I'm That's sitting with her. <laughs> it's me, it's my daughter. There is no touching the dog around her. Michael and Lisa didn't really seem to be that concerned that their child had just got bitten by their dog. And I wanted to see what Jake did without any kind of intervention. Thank you. Yeah. Ah! Jake is on the defensive all the time. You move, he'll react. I want to calm him down, but I could feel in his body he gets all tense. Yes. So then I know just kind of stay away. So that, not good. So wait a second. What did he just do when you first touched him? He moved away from you, didn't he? Yeah. What do you think he was trying to say to you when he moved away? Don't touch me. Exactly. So why did you go out and touch him again? When you ignore what a dog is trying to say to you, that's gonna get you bit. I noticed more things that she told me today that I never I never noticed about him before. How do we fix him? There's no fixing. You don't fix dogs like you fix a television or you fix a piece of furniture. You modify behavior. You teach that animal to be able to exist and cope. You allowed your child to be bitten five times. Plus, and to me, I love dogs with a passion, but nothing comes before a child. Absolutely. Yes. And it's just, it's very I had it's no idea. to see it. And you know what? I have three days, three days to undo three years of life experience. Three days. Jake is undoubtedly nervous and unsociable around people, and he's shown that on many occasions. But there are signs of hope in his behavior. Take a look. And you have a whole film crew in your house. You've got this big stranger here, and he's just hanging. Each time the cameraman moves and he doesn't react, I tell him, good boy. Okay, pull the camera up. 
Nice. Good boy. Good boy, Jakey. I wanted to bring a friend of mine. And I wanted to talk to you about how you're handling Jake. But obviously, we're not going to do it with Jake because this dog's not going to bite us. <laughs> I have seen the family manhandle, mishandle, overtouch, overcaress, and get in their poor dog's face from the time that I came here. He doesn't like being really touched and stroked. You're like this. I thought he likes it. <laughs> and oh, we like this all the time. I thought you just pet a dog like everyone comes, pets a dog. But um, actually annoying the dog every time I pet him. When you do this, do that all the time. Absolutely. Really riles a dog up. If you really want to calm him down, do that. OK. Just do it a little bit and then go about your business. And then you. Yes. You're like this. Oh. <laughs> That's like, what you were doing all over his face. You were getting mm. your hands in there. And he was like, just stop. Please don't come near me and don't touch Leave me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And you're not listening. Mm -hmm. So what else does he have left? Bite. To bite you. So remember, you've got to give him space. You can touch him a little bit, but the less you touch this dog, the less he's going to react. It takes a while for dogs to change habits. It also takes a while for humans to do the same. So I think it's going to be hard. Let's say I wanted to come sit with you. All right? I would go, and I'd sit with you. I thought it was tremendous how just by throwing him a little treat, and then you can move to this side of the room. We're throwing him a little treat over there, and then you can move to that side of the room. Good, and I'm going to move. Victoria sort of makes you see the light. They seem like little, simple ways to get the dog to behave that you're like, yeah, 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 if I do this, he's not going to do it. But you see the dog like reacting and thinking. If he jumped up on the sofa at me, what would I not do? Jump up and be Obviously afraid. not flinch. Not flinch, but I also wouldn't touch him. If he barks at me, whatever, I'm going to wait. And I'm going to look away from him. Yeah, he's about to talk to you. Mm -hmm. And when he gets off, he gets food. Dogs are better than people at changing their habits when they learn. I really hope the family can begin to change theirs to help Jake. Are people going to have to do this forever when they come I into your home? Not. No. But you're going to do it till he gets to the point where you don't really care who's in the home. Since Victoria left, Jake's more mellow. He's not as aggressive. His behavior has kind of calmed down a little bit. Jessica is a lot better with Jake. And she started playing with him, and he hasn't bit her at all. He hasn't. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. See you online.